We are getting ready to head out. Hey, it is like eight degrees outside. I had to go start my car and it is freezing. We have a two hour delay. So Paisley and I are about to head out and I think it's like 7.15 or so. So we are a little later than usual, but it's all good. You ready to go back to school? No. <laughs> all right, let's go, Cheeky. breakfast at school this morning because it's two hour delay. So we're about to get some oatmeal. Off to school we go. We are at school and it is 825. I've been here for about 30 minutes and I emptied my backpack. When I came in, all of my chairs were like down off the desks and pulled out like this on every single chair in here and I have no idea why. But I cleaned out my book bag this morning. I unfortunately took a bunch of papers home to grade and didn't get all of them graded. So I'm gonna work on that this morning and try to get some more papers graded. I'm gonna look over my calendar and make sure I'm ready for the day. I know we do have a faculty meeting on Thursday and Paisley has gymnastics tonight, so I'll probably work until 4.30 or 4.45 and then we'll head out to gymnastics, so. I have exciting news. I got my sit spots over winter break and Paisley is putting them up for me. It is so hard to get this thing straight. I did the first row here, just to kind of make sure it was straight, as straight as possible. And then she is doing the other. And I have one, two, three, four, five, and four rows, so 20. And I have 19 kids, so that is perfect. We went to McDonald's this morning because I didn't realize that, I mean, I knew that on two hour delays, we don't serve breakfast to our students and Paisley hadn't eaten. So she was saying she was hungry and we went through McDonald's and got her an oatmeal. So she ate her oatmeal. Oh, look at these baskets that I found at Dollar Tree yesterday. They're like flat paper baskets for a dollar. So I think I might use these for for my lip block rotations and just put in here anything that they need during lip block. I wanted to get four. They had blue baskets, but they didn't have any blue left in this size paper tray. So I got two green, two purple, and one red. So I will do my best to make it work. All right, I have an hour till my students come in, so I'm gonna get some work done. It is about 9.25 and my kids are gonna be here in about five minutes. I went ahead and laid morning workout and rearranged some things and printed some copies. Unfortunately, I didn't get any grading done, but I'm gonna be working on that this morning while they're coming in since I don't have folders to check. I have my work board up there with the Happy New Year and all the things that I want them to do when they get here. And I, don't know if I've told you guys this, but I sort my literature rotation groups by color. And so I have a blue group, a green group, a yellow group, and a red group. And I do that according to their Dibbles, their M-Class Dibbles assessment, the BOI, beginning of year. And so I have these baskets back here that I already had these, but I added that one which I got at the Dollar Tree because I have a red group and put those there so I can put their work in those baskets, which I think is gonna be really handy and convenient for me. And then I put the purple, green, or teal, and other purple one that I got over here. 
because they don't have to be any certain color. So for the new year, I want to challenge you guys to a 30 day happy teacher challenge. So this is a challenge that I found on Teachers Pay Teachers and I made four copies and passed it out to my team this morning because I thought it would be a really fun thing to do for the month of January. You could even do it in February just to kind of bring some positivity to your day because as we teachers know, it starts to get really challenging with no breaks and full days and testing. And so I thought this would bring a little bit of positivity to our lives. This is the 30 day happy teacher challenge that I found. And as you can see, there are 30 different things that you can do to bring a bit of positivity to your day. And what I think I'm gonna do is color in each rectangle as I do the activities. And then once I'm finished, we'll see how it goes. It also says you can share your challenge on social media by using hashtag happy teacher challenge. All right, I have two minutes till my kids get here, so I'm gonna jump off of here and I will catch back up with you guys later. Hey, have a good day at school today. Uh, love you. Love you. Doesn't Paisley look pretty in her new dress and her leggings? Love you. Love you. My kiddos are at lunch. This morning has flown by because I've only been here like, well, the first kids came in at like 9.30 and it's 10 minutes till 11. So it's been a very fast morning. My kids have been awesome, great behavior this morning. We did a little refresher of Class Dojo and um, for the month of January, they have a goal to earn 95% instead of points. So we're gonna keep their points up all month long. And then at the end of the month, if they have 95% or more, then they get to go to a glow party during their specials at the end of January. So they're super excited about that. And I am too, and I'm just encouraging them to earn lots of points and make good choices so that they can do that glow party because it sounds like so much fun. The sit spots went well this morning. They found a spot, sat down, it was great. No problems at all, thank goodness. <laughs> Instead of doing our normal lip block rotations, I decided to do a New Year's resolution activity. And so we talked about what a New Year's resolution was, what it means to make a resolution and how it should be something that makes yourself better. Uh, these are the ideas that we came up with. So stop a bad habit, eat healthier, exercise more, practice a hobby more, read more, work on manners, practice math facts, use electronics le less, and keep my room clean. So then I had them pick a New Year's resolution, something to make themselves better. And they're writing it here. She says, stop being mean to my brother. Um, and then they're gonna draw their face, color it in, and this is the horn. Once they get finished coloring and writing, they're gonna cut out the horn, wrap it around their pencil to make it curl, and then glue it right there. And I think I'm gonna put these out in the hall on my bulletin board. But like I said, it's been a pretty good morning, so I am going to jump off here and go grab a bite of lunch, and then we're gonna work on this a little bit more when they get back, and then they have library. So I will see you guys when they go to library. And she knows where I live. You glue it like right here. Roll it around your pencil so it'll curl up. And don't forget to color it. What's your New Year's resolution? To use or is use my tablet this. I keep my room clean. Eat healthier. Very Only good. thing I really do on my tablet is text my sisters and play my sister and Look how cute these look. These are their New Year's resolutions. So we're gonna finish up those. I'm gonna have my kids that didn't finish work on it, I guess, in the morning, and then I'm gonna put them outside on my bulletin board because I think they're really cute. Either outside on my bulletin board or that one over there because I need to take down those reindeer and menorahs. I haven't decided yet. So I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing today. I have this sweater on, it's kind of oversized and it's like a maroon color. It has these slits up the side and it's really warm and cozy. And I got this at Walmart for $11, I think. And these are the pants I'm wearing. They're just like 
jean colored leggings and I got those at Walmart as well. They were $3.98. They're super comfy. And these are the shoes I'm wearing. They're just boots since it's so cold outside today and these are by J41. All right, my kids are gone to library, so I'm back in the room. We are not meeting today. I'm not meeting with my grade level today. We're gonna wait and meet tomorrow, but for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and work on some data analysis. I need to go back to my students' BOI for M class and see which books they've already read because we are starting our MOI testing on Monday, and we're not allowed to test any student on the same book that they've already tested on this year. So I need to make a list of all the books that my students have already tested on. So I'm gonna work on that. And then hopefully I can get some of those papers graded that I was going to work on this morning. So I come in today and three of my Thinking Mac posters have fallen. There's two and there's one. Oh, I need to take that stuff down too. Okay, I just got back in from Car Riders and it is freezing out there. It was like six degrees this morning. And I think the high, let me see. It's not too bad, it's 33, but my nose is kind of cold and my hands were cold. But I just got back to the room, my hair looks gross because I had that toboggan on. I'm going to take down this bulletin board. I never got around to grading those papers. I might take them home, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then I've got to get some things ready for tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do. My kids have been pretty good today. I was very impressed with their willingness and their positivity and motivation today. So I'm, I'm glad for that. This afternoon for math, we did math groups, like math rotations. And so I had one group doing story problems with me, which is some um, word problems that they didn't finish before break. So I pulled that group back to my table and then I had a group doing fluency facts. I gave them five new addition cards to add to their envelopes. They are right here actually, uh, near doubles. So they added the near doubles to their set, practiced those, and then I had a group playing close to 20, which is this game. So they shuffle all the cards and put them in the back in the middle. They draw five cards out, and of those five cards, they have to use three of them to get as close to 20 as they can. They put their answer here, and then their score is how far from 20 they are. So I had a few play this, and then I had a few play roll a square. And then I just had them switch after 15 minutes. So I'm gonna work on getting everything ready for tomorrow and I'll catch back up with you guys in a little while. We have gymnastics tonight, so I'll probably be leaving here at 4.30, 4.30-ish. I'm not even kidding when I say I have to put that up there like five times a day. So I think I'm gonna take the tape down and redo it. sorting math pages um, for my students for the unit that we're on right now and I'm throwing some away that I don't need or I'm not going to use 
and I'm just sorting them because I pull them straight out of the book like a unit at a time so then I go back and sort them so I have all of the same pages paper clipped together which is way easier overall than them pulling them out themselves or me having to sort them some other time so that's what I'm doing now I need to make sure I have the math pages that we need for this week so that's why I'm working on this today I had my students work on story problems this packet that they hadn't finished and I just decided to have some of them skip the how many of each because we've done that what feels like a hundred thousand times and so these are the kids who did not get finished so I'm gonna pass these back out so they can work on them in the morning for morning work We are getting ready to head out. I have been a busy bee this afternoon. I got some math papers sorted and paper clipped. I got some papers graded. I looked over my plan book and got that all set up for this week because honestly, I had some things in my plan book, but nothing was like finalized or in detail. And so I went ahead and worked on that a little bit and put in that we had our two hour delay today. I just packed up my backpack. Um, I don't have a whole lot of papers to grade, just that little stack that I showed you guys this morning. So I'm gonna take those to gymnastics and work on those while Paisley is doing gymnastics. She is upstairs right now, so I'm going to call up there and let her make her way down because she's wearing a dress and tights and boots. So she's gotta change into her gymnastics outfit. Plus I brought her like a sweatsuit it's actually fleece but like warm pants and a warm pullover that can go on top of her gymnastics outfit so we are going to head out and get her to gymnastics i have to stop by the post office and drop a few packages off some things that i bought for christmas that i need to return so i will catch up with you guys when we get to gymnastics i'll probably film paisley just a little bit I'm home. Paisley had gymnastics tonight. I didn't really get to film a whole lot. I put a little clip in there of her on the balance beam, but I had to grade some papers and I was talking to some people. So, um, I didn't, it looks like it's on my head. I didn't get to film a whole, whole lot. So we just got home. Paisley is in the shower and I am cooking dinner. I'm putting some chicken tenders in the oven. I'm gonna do some macaroni and cheese and probably some kind of vegetable. And she's gonna eat, or we're gonna eat, and then she has to do her homework and read. And then bedtime. And then we'll do it all again tomorrow. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you will click on the thumbs up button down below this video to let me know that you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos from me. Thank you to everyone who has already subscribed and for all the sweet comments that you guys leave me. It just makes me feel so happy and I hope that you will continue to watch and support this channel. And as always, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Everything down for you. Just follow my instructions and keep and everything will be fine. He's trouble. Farmer Brown thought he heard giggles and the sniffers.
as he drove away. Now you can see yourself. Did you have fun at gymnastics? I'm cheating. I show them fingers, macaroni, and vegetables. Can you use your fork, please, instead of your fingers? <laughs> you like those water chestnuts? I love you. Love you.